Hi guys, um, so when I first received Jade's email regarding the secret video mission, um, I was filled with a sense of excitement um, and also with a little bit of nausea. What ensued were days of thinking, of writing drafts and also of not eating very much food. The result of all of which was that I could crystallize my deepest passions into something simple and also that I lost a bit of weight. Win-win situation if you think about it. Anyway, um, so what am I really passionate about? Well. You know how Christianity is built on the central um, tenets of the Ten Commandments? Well, so too, I think human beings hold certain values close to their heart. And these values form their central commandments. Now, the things that I'm really passionate about, I have transformed into being my central commandments. Um, and whilst I won't go into detail of taking you through all of them, I'll take you, or I'll tell you about three of the ones that I hold closest to my heart. Now, the first one is, if an opportunity scares you, take it, right? Um, the world is filled with people that want to leave a positive impact on the earth, right? We all, always want to be better managers. We want to start new businesses. We want to be better parents. And yet we don't. We are afraid to step out of our comfort zone and take that risk, take that first leap into being the people we know we're capable of. Um, and, and that's because it scares us. We are afraid of what ifs. And, and, and that's where I think this rule applies. If you want to follow your passion and be the person you know you're capable of, you need to forget fear and just jump into the unknown. Because Many a time, what comes of it, comes out of it is is magnificence. Um, the second rule that I hold close to my heart is: if something bothers you, don't sit down and complain about it. Either make it better or forget about it, right? The world is filled with people that complain. We complain about our jobs, our savings plan, our bodies, our clothes, our partners, whatnot. We waste so much energy complaining and yet do nothing to change it. Um, look at all, all the, the greatest um, inventions around you. It, it was because people were unhappy and they decided, you know what, I'm going to make do something that that changes it. So if you want to be the person, the trendsetter, you know, don't sit down and complain about things. Try and make it better. And if, if you can't, if you can't think of a solution, that's fine. Don't waste your energy complaining because it doesn't take you anywhere. So that's commandment number two. And commandment number three is do the work that you love. Um, sort of the reason why I applied for this job with Inventim, right? Um, I want to be surrounded by people that, people that are passionate about things that they do and, and I want to wake up every morning saying, you know what, I'm going to make a positive impact on the world and I believe this job's going to give me that opportunity. Anyway, um, this is my spiel and I hope to see you guys really soon. Thanks, bye.